Well, hello guys, we are at, uh, at the border of our estate. We are visiting at night because it just happened. So, let's go. Let's go. Go, go. Come on. A big place. Whose stuff is that mine? They clean that up. Okay, we have all kinds of stuff. It would be cool if it would provide alcohol and stuff like that. Move it. No. <laughs> okay, the bodies are removed. That's okay. Let's visit the cellar. So sadly the die doesn't work on this because they are uh, modded in. So probably it works on the your scene thing on the feline set and the uh, woven set and I don't remember which one was the third. The fourth. And over here. Uh, yeah, they cleaned up. That's nice. I'm poking a bit softly because it's late in the night. Is this the butler of the estate? Let's talk to this guy. Welcome home, sir. I am Barnabas Basil Fauti. By order of the Duchess, I shall serve you as Major Domo of Corfo Bianco. I previously served with distinction at the Nibli family manor and in Nazaire with Admiral Rompali, who, as you are certain to know, is an extraordinary demanding gentleman. Whoa, Barnabas Basil. One thing you ought to know, I'm not your typical landed gentleman. Truth be told, this is the first real property I've ever owned. Oh, in that case, you must leave it all to me. I shall organize, see to everything, and whip the house into order. I dare say this place will soon be the most prosperous vineyard around. Great. Can already see I'm in good hands. Vineyard comes across as a place with a rich history. Know who owned it before me? Baron Rossell, who went bankrupt, forcing him to sell the estate to the Duchess. The Baron, in turn, had purchased it from Monsieur Bolius of the Headsman. A truly colorful man. Of Ketweni origin. He was actually a headsman? No, not him, but his great, 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 great grandfather. Indeed. Apparently, he was a common cut purse who somehow secured for himself the post of ducal headsman in Beauclair. Went about his work with an exceptional penchant. They say he chopped off more heads than there are grapevines in the ducal vineyards. He never hesitated, not once. Never sliced unevenly, okay, never him. botched a job. For his exemplary service, the Duke granted him a title and this estate. Monsieur Bolius, on the other hand, was an engineer in his younger years. Once retired, he settled here and took to producing wine. Sadly, misfortune struck and he lost his sense first of smell, then of taste. Additionally, he could not drink alcohol. His medic forbade it. Shame that. He gave up making wine? Not at all. He made even more of it. Began throwing wild balls to which he'd invite friends from far and wide in order to treat them to his wine and delight in the fact that at least someone could enjoy it. 
It's the sort of man he was, Monsieur Bowles. Mind giving me a little tour de Corvo Bianco? Not in the least. Follow me, please. I think it would be practical to begin on the hill. Uh, too bad it's night. Behold, sir, your estate in all its splendor. Cool. Pretty vast. Indeed. And now, sir, allow me to show you a handful of interesting details. Follow me, please. Where do you been a major domo all your life? Yes, I come from a long line of major domos. My father was a major domo, as was my grandfather before him. As was my great aunt. In fact, she was the one to start the tradition. Great aunt? A hard woman. It is said that already as a child, she knew where she was going and went there. When she arrived in Beauclair, she signed on as a chambermaid at one of the vineyards, then slowly worked her way up to Major Domo. She dragged the rest of the family up the same path. Screaming and kicking. <laughs> Man, why is he hurt? He has... Some heat marks on his face or is the it just quarters. his skin? I occupy the green home. With the Duchess's permission, I have hired a full staff. Their salaries to be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Nice of her. Not the most sightly part of the estate, I admit. But I think it's worthwhile for you as master of the domain to know the stays. Cool, so I have people working here. What's that? Baron Rossell ordered the vines in this part of the estate uprooted and olive groves planted in their place. They look beautiful, especially come spring. Don't look at all bad now either. Mm, olive oil. Can I make olive oil? They would. I think they were making the barrels over here also. Or the wine. Down below lies your vineyard, where we grow a strain of Carfanere, one of the world's oldest. Aged in oak barrels, it provides for an exquisite wine with distinct blackberry, wild cherry, plum, and cinnamon notes. Marvelous. I have to try it one of these days. Don't drink it all, we have to sell it. <laughs> it would be interesting if this would bring us in combat, I highly doubt it. Nice Maybe well. after. Picture after. Ask. Yes, though it ran dry long ago. During the raucous feasts Master Bolius held, he would order it filled with wine. There's a tale about a guest attending a Bolius ball for the first time and thus unaware of the custom. He had suffered great heartbreak and had decided to end his life by jumping into the well. The festivities were coming to a close and the well was nearly empty when the suicidal guest finally jumped. Instead of killing himself, he merely broke his legs. To numb the pain, he drank the wine. The wine. He drank himself to death? N not at all. When found the next day, he had concluded he'd witnessed twin miracles. The water had been changed into wine, and he had survived. He retired to a monastery in the Dragon Mountains and began preaching the wisdoms of Lebioda. Okay, so. Monsieur Bolius's wife Nina kept a garden here. A supremely lovely place it was. A bit neglected now. I agree. Yet nothing stands in the way of restoring it to its former glory and once again planting it with herbs and other vegetation. I don't want to see monsters here. I don't want to bring work home. Okay. And 
don't scam me. I know your type. <laughs> oh, this looks Madame good Lee for a party. Diminutive, delicate flowers and herbs here. One might say their aroma still hangs in the air. You're quite the romantic, Barnabas Basil. A table, some friends. This served as an additional wine cellar in Willow's plentiful harvests. Hmm. Bit of work, and it'll make a fine stable for Roach. Just say so. The cellars, voila. During Monsieur Bolis's time, wine was kept here, but Baron Rossell used it to store olive oil as well. I took the liberty of cleaning up the mess, which I made while fighting the Bruxa. Thanks, Barnabas Basil. Appreciate it. Oh, okay. Hello. Barnabas. Barnabas isn't a Greek name. So. As you can see, the facade is, how to put it, slightly stained. But one cannot deny it a certain subtle southern charm. True, though it could use a bit of subtle oh paint. My God. <laughs> Those planks over there, the holes between them. Okay, you missed a spot, lady. <laughs> Me, oh my. And a welcome inside. On the left is the master bedroom. On the right, the dining hall and kitchen. Upstairs, you shall find the guest room, currently used for storage. Not a bad idea. At the moment, the house is only minimally furnished. Yet I believe we will, together, devise some innovative arrangements. A few paintings, for instance, would breathe new life into the abode immediately. With that, sir, you've seen the full lay of the land. Corfo Bianco is a beautiful estate. Though one must admit, time has taken its toll. If, if, forgive me for being forward, but if you were to choose to invest a small sum towards its beautification, consider me I guess as your we'll have to do that. I think I'll take you up on that. Be sure to come and see you if I decide to do any remodeling. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Not too much, cause I mentioned the place could not stand the right to be up. Almost decidedly, sir. Question is, where you would like to begin this rejuvenation? The grounds. <laughs> Got these spacious grounds, hmm, but maybe it's time to make them more. Uh, useful. Oh, yes, we certainly should. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorer's table. Mm. A good way to start things off, don't you think? What is that? Well, I guess it's set up. You can't do anything else, so have to follow their suggestions I was hoping to get some income out of this but I don't think my armor needs work from time to time you know oil this reinforce that could use a decent work table where I could do all that Admiral Rompali once hired a specialist who made the finest armorers tables this side of the Yeruga I will contact him at once <laughs> 1000 okay. good order me up a table like that Immediately, sir. 
I expect it will take at most one day to arrive. Will you be needing anything else, sir? I told her the grindstone. In my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use Even a grindstone, dull. professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. Then send out for one, please. A high quality stone to be set up in the yard. Of course. I shall send a runner to town at once. I believe you shall be grinding to your heart's content by <laughs> tomorrow. Will you be needing anything else, sir? Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rockley's summer residence. Cost? The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residence positively sparkle afterwards, but we also made room to display the Admiral's armor and weapons, of which he was a passionate collector. I think we can afford to, but I will uh, put a mod which brings more weapon racks in and stuff like painting spots. Uh, but not right now, towards the end of the... Towards the end. Hands, then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Okay. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Is there anything... Anything else you require, sir? Know what? Changed my mind. Not in the mood to talk about redecoration today. But I wanted to ask you something else. I shall be glad to answer your every question, sir. Let's do this. Thanks. We'll come back in Gotta a few. Uh, business now. See you soon. I don't know. Maybe next episode. And we will visit. So keep in mind, I'm not looking around. Oh my god, this is terrible. What's this? Yeah, see, so the mods add, the mod adds a ton of stuff, ton of stuff. Uh, but we will follow the storyline so we don't break any quests or stuff like that. And after I finish the story, I will add that mod and uh, I'll complete my collection. Yeah. We are missing uh, st the stairs. Oh my god, what the hell is this? Yeah, this is a peasant house. Basically. Okay, let's, let's leave. <laughs> Let's go talk to Guillaume. You remember Guillaume, right? If my Don't... lips don't stink of wine, my wife won't know they're mine. <laughs> what are you doing, sir? <laughs> Dangly dipsticks and mangy maps. Oh, look. Let's see, is it? Women and chops. No, it's All not blue. Beat them, the... Okay, let's. Uh... Let's go to Guillaume, that guy that I didn't want to save in the hey, arena. Yeah. Since we have a quest. We help him get the curl, I assume. Huh? The rest are just went things.
It would have been cool for them to give us some income from this. Let's see, can we get through here? Doesn't look half bad. Because this is the end game. Right now we should be set. We are ready to retire. Even though in the ending we were retiring in the north. Right? I don't remember exactly. But let's take the road. your armor your wound feeling better it's healing splendidly though I am to avoid trouble for some time to be frank that is precisely why I wish to speak with you want me to stand in for you take on some trouble on your behalf that could very well be the case. You see, there is a maiden, nay, a lady. I suspect someone's cast an ill spell upon her. A curse, perhaps. Let me guess. She suddenly grew cold, haughty, and distant, though the night before she was flirtatious and alluring. Tut tut, Witcher. You jest, yet the matter is grave. Though true, the lady in question is dear to my heart. I shall not deny it. I fear she has fallen victim to ill magic, and knows no one she could turn to for help. What makes you think she might be cursed? You must keep all I say to yourself, I beg you. I would never dare to be so indiscreet normally, yet I'm troubled about her, for her. Vivian shuns the company of others. Though the fairest maid at court, she keeps men at a distance. I thus determined I would resort to trickery. Trickery? That even befitting of a knight? In war, yes. And what is love if not battle? As it were, one evening I crouched in hiding outside her seamstress's home. As Vivian emerged from it, I too emerged. Ever so gently but convincingly collided with her, then promptly offered to escort her home. She consented. At first, all argued well. I proposed a more scenic oh. route. She agreed. I made kindly forays into conversation, and she even began to respond as we neared the end of our route. Then suddenly... Then suddenly, mid-speech, from her mouth there flew a most hideous shriek. I stopped stone cold in my tracks while she turned red, then promptly ran off. I did not give chase that time. I attempted to approach her on several ensuing occasions, to learn what had happened, for I feared she had become entangled in some trouble. I noted that often, come night, she ventures into the woods, where I've seen her walk about a glade near a pool. I've striven on occasion to follow her, but lost track each time. It seemed then she'd melted into the air. Okay, Goldilocks, maybe she's a Brooks. Eh? Who knows? Sound you heard. She might have just had a sore throat. Had I thought it possible the sound was natural, I never would have taken up your precious time. Notice any other strange behavior? Additional symptoms? No, Vivian's avoided me wholly since the first encounter. But folk gossip. What about? They say she's secretive, that no one ever sees her after dusk, that she's wont to suddenly disappear. Nothing unusual about any of that. To 
Tell me more about Vivian. Who is she? What's her story? She's her enlightened highness's lady in waiting. Her mother was a lady in waiting, her father a knight. That is all I've learnt, for the Duquesa grows angry when asked about her. Vivian spends her days within the palace walls. Yet we are in luck, for she has been named a tourney's patroness this year. Thus, each participant will be granted an audience with her. Got a problem then. See, I'm not a participant. I've devised a solution already. You should take my place in the lists and thus gain the chance to speak to her. I was looking forward to winning the tourney, very much so. Yet for Vivian, I am prepared to sacrifice anything. So you know I'm not working for glory, right? <laughs> this tourney, how does it work exactly? It is the year's grandest and the most important contest. Knights from all corners come to face off for the grand prize. And more importantly, for glory. A demanding test of knightly prowess in horsemanship, marksmanship and fencing. Oh my God. I qualified for the first time, had great hopes of winning. Yet... Yeah, I get it. Anything for Vivian. Hardly a regular job, this. Not often I gotta take part in a tourney to fulfill a contract. He can't be anything ordinary either. I am no magnet to command heaps of coin, but naturally I shall award you a just amount. How much do you demand? Ooh, he gives me 500. I heard in Ghost Mode you can add 70% if you're lucky. So how much is that? 70% in 500. And we go from here. Agreed. That is an amount oh my god, seriously? <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. And I assume we'll get an award if we win, so... Fine, I'll look into it. Gotta admit, piqued my curiosity. I shall be forever in your debt. Now, we must ensure you are not eliminated from the tourney before you can meet Vivian. Meaning? Could you show me how you shoot, ride and fight perchance? And you must learn the tourney rules, know how to apply them in practice. I, I did not mean to suggest I doubt your abilities. Everyone must train, even a witcher. Besides, the tourney contests must surely differ, require skills you don't usually apply, races above all. The choice is yours. Where shall we start? Mm. Let's finish the horsemanship because I hate Roach, it the most. Use some wind in her mane. Let's go for a ride. Come with me. Oh, it's a racetrack. That's Who's perfect. My, my. The tourney's race differs from others you might have taken part in. You shall not ride against any opponent. How's it a race at all then? It's a race against time. The true track begins in the arena, runs round the tourney grounds, then finishes again in the arena. The training track, however, lies beyond the arena. We shall go there now. Ah, oh, so we lost. Uh... Milton. You'd best behave, Trey. You're in Beauclair, see? Keep calm. Start no brawls. <laughs> the gods have sent the beast as punishment well, for us. Whatever you are, it's for you, especially. Must be a terribly barbaric land. Oh. Yes, man. Nice. Good idea. On the fuller, a rust stain. On the point, the prince of your Greece stains. Okay, is it far? I think it's over here. Huh. <laughs> Boars, 
Boars everywhere. He entered. He hit me, but he was groaning like I hit him. As if I would hit him. Yeah. Oh. English. All is ready. Now listen, for it can be quite a challenge. Along your route stand dummies and targets. The dummies you may cut with your blade, oh my the God. targets you must hit from your crossbow. The time you have to complete the course shall increase each time you land a strike, be it with blade or bolt. It may sound simple enough, yet I've seen it's many a night fail this forever. hang his head in shame. During the race proper, judges throughout the course shall tally your points, for now you may ride unperturbed by those matters. That will take me forever. I actually didn't fight on horse. So right now I'm only checkpoints. That I was supposed to shoot. Did I hit it? It's a bit difficult to hit those. Will you give it another go? I can set out more dummies. I've had enough indeed. <laughs> had enough. Rather not wear my horse down before the real race. Where to now? <sighs> Time for some target practice, I think. Come with me. Let's run up and then I... The marksmanship contest will oh, man. you against another for the best time and score. He who hits all his targets first wins. Hope my aim's as good as that Cupid's who shot you. Sometimes when you speak, I miss the meaning entirely. Man, this is going to be tough, man, because I don't like shooting the crossbow, I don't like fighting on horse. It's gonna be tough. No, it's not gonna okay. Let's not worry ourselves right now with that thing. targets <sighs> the sun is in my eyes oh, yeah. anything else once more no. Done enough shooting. Where to now? Be nice to swing, do some footwork, work up a sweat. 
Very well. We shall practice infantry combat one on one. Each knight opts for his own method. Rainfarn, for instance, fights halberd in hand. Come with me. Don't think I can. You will team with other knights to fight. The clash simulates a true oh, skirmish during cold. battle. But Come the end, you shall fight a duel. It will determine your place on the podium. I always liked the duels the best, but now I can think only of my Vivian. In the end, it is good you will replace me. I sense I would simply be distracted this time. Da, 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 da. I don't know if we are doing this right now. I mean, we will do something else. Leave the turn because I'm a bit worried about it. What I'm worried is that I won't hit the dummies because the shooting seems to be a easy. No two ways about it. Hello. <laughs> I need to get new pants. I don't like to wear in red. Grey armor die. Oh, we have a formula. It's awesome. Stand at the center of the training ground. A knight will approach and challenge you. Really? Do I need to make a bow? Witcher at always. You wish to spar? Why not? Patra. Lost your nerve. Expected you to do well, but not that well. Yeah, let's get another one. <laughs> Could probably use some more practice. Usually fight monsters, not knights. Can I get them all? Let's see. How might I eat you? Tony Mirov Troy. Which are at oh. always with reason. Unto the knight returned from his days at war. Get the last of him to and had married days before. Sleep strengthens, and wine makes you sleepy. Or Marcus Oh, this is my honor. Yes, I shall smash the plunderers, scatter them to the winds, and drive them from our duchy. The duchy as a whole. Suffers from a disconnect with reality. This one it sits alone over here. By my throat, it is the Witcher who saves us from walls. Oh, this one is from Scanning, yeah. Really? For honor, sir, we shall cross swords again. Oh. I've had just about enough of this tire. Go on! Show remorse! What? Lost your nerve? I wonder, can I beat them all? Do you wish to practice fighting a moment longer? <laughs> huh? Let's beat them all. Could probably use some more practice. So, always with reason. How many more? One, two, three, four more. Let's see. Why not? Oh, I'll try again. I thought they were cycling. Do you wish on. to practice fighting a moment longer? Mm, no. No. Think I've seen enough. Sorry to be blunt, but the simplest Witcher contract demands more skill than this kind of combat. 
Now you must go to the inscription tent. Honor and glory are all true and good, but your scrolls must be in order. Act always with reason. Yeah, let's get my entire pattern. Hey ho, hey ho! A night's life is full of fun. Let's go enter the attorney. I don't know. I will reload to win it if I mess up. As I said, I'm only worried about uh, the dummies. Just the first one I thought I hit him, but he didn't hit. He didn't connect. Vagrant, I'm a lord. Wait. I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. It's no disaster. Palmerin, it's on the list. There was a time when that would ah. simply drive off that sort of rapper. In a snap. Hello. <laughs> no, 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 no. Reward the Gorgo. It's another Palmer. Doni Mir of Troy. This one is Nilgadian also. It's one of the generals. It's Of Tonda. Oh, I am I am the replacement. What else can I steal? Veins of oh. Greetings. Want to join the lists? Naturally. We must first see to formalities, however. At Guillaume's request, I have looked into your personal history in its heraldic aspects. Really? What did you come up with? My findings show you may take part as Geralt of Rivia. What a surprise. Or as the Honorable Ravix of Forhorn. It's not every year we have a combatant who can boast of two crests. Which do you prefer? Ravix of Forhorn? How did you manage to dig that up? Here in Toussaint, we treat heraldry very seriously. One visit to the Ducal Archives. That is all I needed to acquire the necessary information. Ravix of Forhorn was the name under which you attended a feast honoring Princess Pavetta, daughter of Queen Talanthe of Sintra, on the occasion of her 15th birthday. That's actually right. She read that book, but I don't remember that name. Kinda curious what you could have learned about Geralt of Rivia. In the year 1267, a certain Geralt, a member of the Witches Guild, was knighted by Queen Meave and dubbed Geralt of Rivia. This was in honor of his distinguished service at the Battle of the Bridge, said structure spanning the Yaruga. But I wager you know of which battle I speak. Hmm. Yeah, those were the days. 
Kahira and I led a fistful of Nordlings against an entire Nilfgaardian <laughs> battalion. Won that battle just because we absolutely had to cross the river. No. The bridge. Actually, like the one with the bear, but. Let's. I'm Geralt. Not about to fight under a false name. You may now take the shields bearing your crest. I'm a witcher. Shields aren't something witchers ever use in combat. Who mentions using it in combat? Not I. The shield commemorates your participation in the tourney. You may take it as a souvenir. Hmm. In that case, thanks. Have you been Actually. instructed as to the tourney's challenges, prizes, and vows? If not, I do hope you will allow me to tell you about them. Yeah, tell me everything. <laughs> Guillaume told me a bit about the contests. Rather make sure I'm clear on them, though. An admirable thirst for knowledge. There are contests three. A shooting range, where you will compete side by side with an opponent. A horse race, during which you will seek to complete the course within a specified time. Any targets hit with boats or dummies felt with blade will increase the time you have. Finally, the group melee in the arena, crowned with a duel against last year's champion. As yeah, each contest ends, for. its results will be posted on the board outside my tent. This way, all will be apprised of who leads at any given moment. Convenient. Of course, we have to win everything, man. I just want to be the champion. I have won all my brawling contests, so... Mm. Gonna come right out with it. I'm a sucker for prizes. <laughs> the winner of each contest shall receive a trophy. Whoever has the best result once all contests have played out shall face last year's champion in a final duel for glory and the title. Should you defeat the reigning champion, the grand prize will be yours. This year, a sword forged especially for this occasion by the one and only Cornelius of Asengard, a famed master weaponsmith. Her illustrious highness had it brought all the way from Nasser. A oh, steel sword. <sighs> You say something about vows? As is our custom, knights make vows to which they hold for the duration of the tourney. Each swears on something which to him represents his most cherished virtue. <laughs> Feels like I know everything I'd ever want to know about chivalric tourneys. <laughs> Splendid. In that case, you must make your vow. Upon what would you like to swear it? Chivalric. What's the hair on, man? What's the hair on? I don't think I can swear on her garter, though. The hair on is my uh, shield, my. Uh, let's try three. Will he be upset? <laughs> I swear on her grace's illustrious garter to respect the chivalric virtues in competing. May the gods succor you in your endeavors to overcome. The sign here, please, then fill out these forms. That is all I need from you. Now, as arranged by Guillaume, oh, you shall be fitted I with the free armor. armor for the tourney. Or not. Hmm, shiny. You have also been assigned a tent for the tourney's duration. It stands near the arena. Good luck. So what, I can't leave until I finish? That's... I like 
the bar and the girl more. 